In this tutorial, we're going to talk about drop shadows, in particular the layer style drop shadow, which is sort of the filter drop shadow that is in the Photoshop menu in the layers palette under effects, but we'll talk about that in a moment. I'm going to create a drop shadow on this orange. So what I need to do is I need to extract the orange from its background and put the orange on its own layer on a new background. It's going to look exactly the same, however we need a space for the, the shadow to sit. So it actually has to, has to originate from a selection or an object. So it can't, like if I were to create a drop shadow of this, I would get a drop shadow of the entire page, not just the orange. So to select the orange, this would be a great one, obviously for the magic wand tool because we have a, a background that is white. And then I'm going to select inverse and then move this to its new um, new background. So before I do this, I would actually like to change the, actually I'm going to make it be that way a little bit, because I would like the light source obviously to come from the upper right. You can see where the light is hitting the orange and where there's an inner shadow here, and the drop shadow is going to fall off the object. But I would like to change the brightness and contrast of this so that this is a little brighter and the contrast or the dark shadowy spot is a little bit more pronounced. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast, and I'm going to pump up the brightness a little bit, like so, and I'm also going to pump up the contrast. And you'll see when I do that, I'm going to click the preview off, that the original and it's much more pronounced in the new version. So I'm going to say OK. So now, the, the layer style drop shadow is right here. If you go to the layers palette, and there's a little um, icon down here that says FX in cursive, and if you hover over it, it says add a layer style, and hence the reason layer style drop shadow. And I'm going to click that open, and all the way toward the top here is one that's called drop shadow. I'm going to click that on, and up comes a dialog box with all sorts of stuff in it. And it looks very confusing at first, but we are going to simplify this as best I can because I like to do things more visually than by numbers because there's all these like angle dials and numbers and, and pixels and percents and all of this is very, very nice, but we can do this simply by viewing and, and using our eyes. If you click and hold somewhere in the selection, and drag this out. You're grabbing hold of the shadow and you can start to position the shadow anywhere you want. And you notice when I spin this that the angle um, dial in the layer style palette dialog box is going crazy because that's obviously what is controlling that. And the distance is also moving around. So I'm going to just simply move this out where I think that 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 with the light hitting here where the shadow would drop off the object onto the surface it's laying on. Obviously this is quite harsh so this is where we need to change it in the dialog box. The distance is taken care of by simply dragging it out to where we want it and the angle is taken care of by dragging it to where we want it. The spread is something we don't really have to deal with right now but the size I wish it was actually say softness or hardness, but the size is actually how soft or hard the shadow is. So as I slide this, you can see that the shadow gets softer and more realistic looking. So by eye, I'm going to slide it to where I think is a good place, and then I'm going to say, okay. You also notice that I, uh, when I selected it, I obviously picked up some of that white background. I have this very harsh white line around here. So I'm going to get rid of that by holding down the command key, putting the selection around that, and doing a feathered selection. I'm going to feather it. It came up to 10. I'm going to feather it by about 10 pixels. I'm going to select the inverse and then hit delete one, two, three, four times, I think. And then when I deselect, there it is. The, the um, white line that came along with the old background is gone. We have this nice shadow. Now, if I want to modify that shadow at all, if you double click on under the layer, the drop shadow effect is listed there under effects. And if you double click it, it'll bring that box back up. I think that I'm going to reduce the opacity of this drop shadow. So it's a little bit less harsh 
and maybe reduce the size a little bit so it has a little bit more of a sharp angle along here and then say OK. So there we have it. We changed the um, brightness and contrast of the image by going to image adjustments brightness contrast and we also added a drop shadow by going to the effects at a layer style drop shadow but remember it can only be dropped off a selection an object never the entire layer because then you just get a drop shadow over here so it can't um, it must be separated from its original background and placed on a new background good luck